What happens to ruined or damaged books? How are they cured from, say, a partial fire, water, or the most dreadful of enemies, insects? Well, thankfully, a type of Roman hospital for books takes care of this right in the center of the city. It's the Instituto Centrale di Patologia del Libro, which roughly translates to Central Institute for Book Pathology. It's come a long way since it was first founded back in 1938. Nowadays, it collaborates with various institutions such as the Vatican Library and its archives. The center boasts the most modern operating theaters in the business, with the latest technology devoted to solving the most difficult issues in book preservation. We have various labs which have obviously evolved quite a bit since 1939. Now they have the cutting-edge equipment where we can see to what extent the materials we received are decayed and what we have to do to restore and preserve them. But the hospital isn't for everyone. The Institute only welcomes exclusive patients, so to speak, so medieval manuscripts, ancient documents, and early printed books are among the most precious artifacts the staff deals with every day. In fact, recently, the Institute was involved in the restoration of priceless Christianity texts, such as a portrait of Leonardo da Vinci and a 1,500-year-old manuscript. It was brought here by a bishop himself. It's a gospel and it contains all four texts, even though it's missing some sections. It's written in gold and silver ink and also purple, and it is illuminated. So it's an absolute masterpiece of 6th century craftsmanship, and it's truly an incredible item. The Institute's ultimate goal is to spread the care and preservation of books. It recently unveiled its newest museum, which includes a school and a complete library for both students and scholars.